This video right here is to show you how to change these uh, helixes out. This is uh, some of our custom helixes and I just want to kind of show you a little bit about the notches that we talk about. Uh, this is a stock helix with a with a stock uh, EBS notch. You can see how much distance, uh, how big it is compared to this. Or maybe we can put it like this. You can see that notch is much bigger and then compare what we call a non-EBS where you have no low speed engine braking. So that's physical differences there. And like I said, these are our custom helices. But to swap it out, uh, seen from the video how to get your secondary off, put it upside down, take a T25 Torx uh, bit, and just remove four screws. And then twist it out. So that's simple. There it is. Might as well, while you're in here, go ahead and check your rollers for any damage, flat spots, any slack while you're there. Alright, and I'm going to take off the uh, less EBS helix we had, and I'm going to a non for my own use because I race cross country, and it's, if you read some of the articles, you'll know why. Alright, these uh, helixes have a little X on them. Let's see if we can see. We got an X right here, and then on this sheave, uh, secondary, you'll see the X right there. They're going to have to line up. So you put the helix on like so and get her going. Alright, now my X's don't line up. So what I'm going to have to do uh, is force it around. Alright, got my X lined up. Got a little spring tension. It'll move. Get back like it's supposed to there. Uh, when you get her back in the vehicle. And basically, you just push four screws back in. Make sure you don't get them cross-threaded. Go ahead and start them with your fingers. And then this last one should go right in. Tighten back up. That's it. All it is putting the helix 